Hi, my name is Dave Bunton, President of the Appraisal Foundation, and I want to thank you for joining us today for what we believe is going to be a very informative program entitled uh, The Introduction to Green Buildings and Their Valuation. Uh, as the focus of the foundation uh, has increased in the green building area, I'm occasionally told that it's a, a trend, a current trend, it's a fad, it's the flavor of the month. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, what's going on right now is a significant and fundamental change in the way that we construct buildings. Uh, it transcends political party lines. It transcends national borders. Uh, and we are just about at a tipping point right now. In fact, my personal belief is if we hadn't had the economic downturn that we're currently experiencing, we would have already passed that tipping point. And by that, I mean if you look in the pipeline of buildings that are on the drawing boards, green is almost exclusive, the only exclusive way to go. So you're going to see that as they, as they come to the market, uh, what a significant change it's going to be. Uh, the drivers, uh, a couple things. One, a lot of governments, state governments, federal government, municipal governments, are only leasing space in green buildings. That drives the tenants to that area. In addition, it's just a good corporate strategy to be housed in green buildings. And you see all the major American companies uh, seeking to do that. Uh, as far as an overview of our program today, we're going to begin uh, with essentially an introduction to the basics. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, President Obama's uh, Better Buildings Challenge. We're going to talk about what is Energy Star, uh, what is a LEED certification, just to introduce you to the terms of art and kind of a, a look of the landscape out there. Following that, uh, we'll have a Q&A session and a break, and we'll come back. And then we'll actually get into the valuation aspect of green buildings. I'd like to introduce our panel today. To my far right is Michelle Moore. Michelle Moore is President Obama's federal environmental executive. Uh, she serves on the Council on Environmental Quality. To her immediate left is Lane Burt. Lane is the Director of Technical Policy for the U.S. Green Building Council. To his left is Maria Vargas. Maria is the Director of the Better Buildings Challenge and a Senior Advisor at the U.S. Department of Energy. And lastly, we have uh, Thede Wright-Chapelle. She's the Senior Managing Director at National Practice Leader for Green Advisory Practice with Cushman and Wakefield. So with that, Michelle, will you lead us off today? Thanks so much, Dave. And good afternoon, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, to be able to share a little bit with you about President Obama's Better Buildings Initiative and to be a part of this extraordinary panel. Uh, not only to the folks who are in the room, uh, but to the many folks who will be able to watch us on the webinar. I mean, clearly, President Obama believes that commercial buildings, energy upgrades for commercial buildings specifically, are really a triple win for America. They're a cost-effective way to create jobs, uh, particularly in what's been a, a very hard-hit building and construction industry. It saves money uh, for businesses by lowering their utility bills. And it also reduces the energy intensity of our economy overall, which leads to cleaner air and a better environment. And that's why this past February, he launched the Better Buildings Initiative. Now, the Better Buildings Initiative embraces a very big goal uh, for commercial buildings in America, and that's 20% improvement in energy efficiency by 2020, which could save American businesses up to about $40 billion per year on their utility bills. Now, the Better Buildings Initiative really has three components. Um, one component is administrative actions that we're taking now. Uh, another component is a legislative agenda. And the third, the Better Buildings Challenge, is really an opportunity that we have for public-private partnership. Now, I want to particularly acknowledge the role that our work with the Appraisal Foundation plays. Uh, because leading the Better Buildings Challenge are the President's Council on Jobs and Competitiveness, and former President Bill Clinton, who's also been very focused on energy efficiency in our commercial buildings. From a Job Council perspective, one of the opportunities that they outlined early on was the importance of really connecting with and collaborating with the appraisal community when it comes to how energy performance factors in to the valuation of our buildings to asset value, as well as the cost-saving opportunities and operational expenses. And on June the 13th of this year, Penny Pritzker of the Jobs Council was very proud to report to the President uh, that DOE, the Department of Energy, and the Appraisal Foundation had signed a memorandum of understanding, an, in a, an, 
an MOU uh, to work on this very important challenge. Uh, so this is one step that we're taking together and, and very proud uh, to be on the podium this afternoon. So I want to highlight for you just a few of the actions that we're taking now and uh, a little bit of where we see things going in the near future before passing the baton uh, to my colleague Maria Vargas from the Department of Energy. So uh, two actions that were already underway. Uh, number one is a new commercial building technology extension partnership which is a partnership between the Department of Energy and the National Institute of Standards and Technology at the Department of Commerce. And that's kind of a mouthful of federal agencies. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, that it's competitive grants uh, that would go out to technical colleges and universities to help support training in building energy managers and the folks that would go out and do energy assessments of buildings to continue to enable the marketplace to move in this direction uh, by making sure that folks in this industry have access to workforce training and the young people who would be joining us as colleagues in the building industry have that same access. We are also very thrilled to be working on the Better Buildings Challenge, uh, which is the public-private partnership that the President announced as a part of the Better Buildings Initiative. Now, we got things underway a little bit earlier this year, and just back in late June, uh, we're very thrilled to announce uh, the initial 14 partners in the Better Buildings Challenge. Now, together, they comprise a little north of 300 million square feet of commercial building space uh, dedicated to the 20% by 2020 goal, including signature retrofits around the country that would be demonstrating that work in practice. And it also included more than half a billion dollars in committed financing. And so these are financial institutions who are stepping forward and committing to provide the financing that would be necessary for building owners, uh, public sector and private sector, you know, to move forward and upgrade the energy performance of their buildings. Now that was our initial push. And working with the Jobs Council and our colleagues at the Department of Energy, uh, we're underway in continuing to build out that program, you know, showing how the public and the private sector, the federal government and the industry can work together to help to continue to move this agenda forward. Now, I want to also just mention uh, the legislative agenda that the President proposed as a part of the Better Buildings Initiative as well. Now, many of you may be familiar already with 179D, uh, which is the Commercial Building Energy Efficiency Tax Deduction. And that tax deduction hasn't been um, terribly well utilized uh, since it was put on the books due, due to some technical challenges in its implementation. But well, we're committed uh, to working in the, the zone of opportunity in terms of making some administrative improvements, at least to make it easier and more streamlined to document uh, 179D as it stands today. Uh, but the President's proposal also included expanding the opportunity by turning that deduction into a tax credit and enabling real estate investment trusts, which are clearly a very important part of the ownership base of commercial real estate in this country, to be able to participate in that incentive as well. So looking forward, uh, some of our immediate goals are to really work on expanding the Better Buildings Challenge, uh, to bring more private sector leaders into the fold uh, so that we can demonstrate, as Dave said, um, that this is an extraordinary opportunity for the building industry, an extraordinary economic opportunity for this country that can create jobs today locally. And with that, um, I would like to pass the baton to Maria Vargas, who can share in much greater detail about the Department of Energy's perspective, um, more about the Better Buildings Challenge, and just once again say thank you to Dave, uh, to the Appraisal Foundation, uh, to all of you in this room, and to all of you who will be joining us later on the web uh, for the extraordinary work that you do, uh, and for being willing to step forward as leaders in demonstrating how energy performance and sustainability belong in the way that we assess the value, the asset value of our commercial real estate today. Um, we're dedicated to that partnership, we're dedicated to the work over the long term, and we appreciate it. Thank you.